So now that I am not a bowl of emotion. Really quickly, family, before we continue on with this video, I want to introduce you guys to a company that's super, super dope. I am a conveniency type of girl, so I like anything that's convenient. I'm really big on one-stop shops, and I came across this company, and I was like, okay, okay. I think they on to something. Like when I tell you there's literally something for everybody there, they have everything in this one store. You know, I be a little iffy about certain things. So I was a little like, eh, let me see if it's given everything was supposed to be given. So I picked out a few items, a few diverse items, because I said, let me just see. Like, I want to just see what it's about before I spit on my coins and go crazy. So let me just show y'all really quickly the items that I picked out. The first thing I got was this comforter set. I am a comforter set girl, even in the summertime. Listen, the quality is amazing. The price was cheap, and I have a queen size bed. I love this. Next, I bought a cute little bag. This bag was everything you hear me i'm not the girl that needs a very expensive bag i need a very cute bag honey okay it's not the name brand it's how you rock it this bag was so nice it had enough room for all my mommy stuff because i'm a mom so i need to throw lunch in my bag if i have to and it was still stylish and it was very inexpensive 10 out of 10 i would definitely recommend they even had dope clothing honey this sweatsuit the quality was amazing it was comfortable it was cute y'all know i'm a little plus size mommy so i love to find me some good clothes and this was definitely everything for me i got this cute button up i love how unique it was i love how it felt i love how it fit you can really dress this up if you wanted to kill it i love me some unique different clothing and this was definitely great for me and if you thought that was it and that was all baby no mm -mm. Listen, when i tell you they got everything they have every i was even able to get something for the kids and you know, as adults, when we walk in the house, we always got to bring something for the kids. So let's see. Faith, I got something for you, Faithy. Oh, I like those. You like these? Look at all. Can I play with those? Can I play with those? Oh, oh my God. Got all types of sensory toys. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look. spinner honestly i highly recommend every product so it's a place where you can go you can shop you can get stuff for home decor you can get stuff for your kids for your pet you can pick up clothing for you your man like it gets no better than that you could get household gadgets anything you can think of they have and i think that's extremely dope guys make sure you check them out you can click the link directly down in the description box below and if i ain't say it i'm gonna say it again the stuff is cheap honey cheap and it's good it don't get no better than that make sure you guys check them out you can click that link directly down below let's continue on with this vlog. talk I just want to make it very, very clear. The reason why I share my experiences and my stories is embarrassing and as hurtful as they may be sometimes is because somewhere in my heart, I know that I'm not alone. Since I've been going through this for the last two years with my mom and just telling you guys everything, there's been thousands and thousands of people who's like, thank you for sharing. I can relate. I grew up this way. Or my mom is this way. My child is this way. So... It makes me feel like less ashamed and less embarrassed. And it's also like a stress reliever for me as well. But anyway, long story short. So as you guys know, my little brother is off in college. He is my pride and my joy. And um, he did an unexpected visit coming up with his friends. Um, I knew the day of because he told me. So when he was coming... Y'all know I like to protect his little heart because I feel like he's been through enough. And I'd much rather me go it, go through it than him go through it. So I called my mom the whole day, the whole day, the whole day. And I told her, if you're going to do drugs, if you're going to get high, if you got, if you got drugs in the house, any crack pot, any, anything, please get rid of it. Please don't do it. Please don't be high. He'll be there. I call her to every second, every minute, every hour, every second, every minute, every... Are you high? Please don't be high. I don't want him to experience this. Plus, he with his friends. Please, I don't want him to come home from college and have to feel this. Please. I received this FaceTime call. Um, I will tell you that I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's graphic. Um, 
it's it's just so overwhelming to even think about it like i i, I i'm gonna i'm gonna play let me see her is she having a seizure it's overdose she's not out my go get your phone great Chance, Great. let me see. Yeah. Auntie, I'm, I'm calling an ambulance. She hoping, look, she did. She did She probably dead. No. Oh, oh no, she's moving. So that's what he had to walk into, an overdose. And it's just like, it's scary. It's overwhelming. No child should have to experience it. No adult should have to experience it. And it's just like, sometimes I'm just so lost for words. Like, I am I just don't, I don't know what to say or what to do. I just, I, I just don't know. So, you know what? I say this to say that life will really life you. And if y'all know, y'all know I share every moment that I go through, good, bad, or indifferent. And it's going to be times where you feel like the world is ending like yo why am i going through this why me this is crazy it hurts it feels surreal like i don't think i can bear it i don't think i can get through this i promise you you can and i'm telling you you can because i live it every single day there are days when i don't even want to get up and i'm telling you i've made it through them days so you'll make it through it you'll get through it things will get better I promise you it will. Let's go continue on with this vlog on a more better, joyful, better. Hey family, how are you? So today I took a me day and it feels so amazing. I can't stop smiling. It's a little cold, but I just let the kids go with their respective parties. And I came and... I just like walked around, got me a uh, um, caramel latte. And I'm just like enjoying like all the Christmas scenery. And I looked at a couple Christmas things because Christmas stuff makes me very happy. And it's just like, I'm just, it's refreshing. It's just a little, oh, you know, I can't explain it. I'm cold as shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh wow, I've never been here before. Why y'all never told me about this? Zena told she been here. Wait, no, I don't even know what borough we're in. We're in Queens Tower. Oh, well, I felt like we were far. I thought we was in Queens. Wait, so it's all of these stores in one. Okay. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I hate Christmas. Why? Oh, you a bitch. I don't like Christmas. So we are now food shopping. And if you know, you know, I shop at Food Bazaar. I love meeting y'all here. I don't know why. Let me stop pushing it. I run into y'all all the time at Food Bazaar. Like, and we be walking, talking, shopping, friends. We real life friends. But today I have Kesha and the two baby brats with me. Why are you looking shocked? What happened with what? I said, what you doing? I got y'all with me food shopping. Hey. I'm not recording you. <laughs> she got the trench coat on with the with the James Brown side. I'm black. I'm black. Do it. Boom, boom. I'm black. <laughs> I'm a trendsetter. I don't follow trends. So, family, I'm super sorry for the short vlog. I know it's been like all over the place or whatever. But I am preparing for Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, Vlogmas is the most content creators vlog every single day for the month of December. I love Vlogmas. We do everything Christmas, everything cheerful. It's just. Oh. Vlogmas is my favorite. So I want to make December a really, really great one for you. So I've been just prepping and preparing for that. So excuse the short vlog. I know y'all hate it when that happened. Also, I've been super busy today because I was scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all day, and I hear everybody talking about, oh, we're going to get some pandemies. We're going to get some pandemies. And if you don't know what pandemies is, 
pandemics is what I call the pandemic food stamps. There are people like myself who don't receive government assistance, don't get any SNAP assistance, anything from the government. But pandemic food stamps is for everyone. Everyone in the pandemic is entitled to them. But I'm a little confused because I called my car 462,000 times. It still says zero. So I'm Googling because when it took some when it comes to some food stamps, I want them, okay? <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. Give me the pandemic. Give me the Eat Better Today card. I want my black visa. So I heard that it's really not pandemics. It's for people who actively on welfare or government assistance or HRA, whatever you want to call it, and they're just giving them extra food stamps for things. I don't know. People be lying. Don't play with me when it comes to some free money. Don't ever play with me like that. Because one thing about me, give me some food stamps, baby. It won't be a fish left in the sea. <laughs> it won't be a crab leg crawling. Because, baby, when I tell you I'm getting SpongeBob, Squid, with Patrick, and Sandy, bitch, and I'm putting them in the steamer, cooking and eating it, some little adobo, some sassoon, and some... Don't play with me about no free... Girl, you know how expensive food is? You think I'm going to be on camera and be embarrassed to say that I want some food stamps? Girl... Let me tell you something. My life has changed since I don't get stamps no more, baby. Do you know how I never looked at prices? Now, something gotta go back. <laughs> baby, one piece of chicken is like $40 in the supermarket. Don't get me going. Anyway, I'm mad about that. Family, I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. Happy Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday. You got one more day left to work. That's how you gotta look at it, and it's the weekend. See you next time, family. Baby.